I actually went out to LA unemployed. I saved my money for a year and uh, just went out. Just went out on faith. Like I felt like I needed to go to LA to make some things happen, to to find out if I can make it. And the the result of the four years is this movie. So this movie is not only just a movie, it's a graduation for me and it's a, um, a affirmation that things can happen and I can, you know, I can, you know, get together with a person and a thought can happen and now we're in AMC theaters. You need to get some stuff off your chest? You wanna talk about it before you make a sale? I got, I got some girl problems. Moving in with my girlfriend is not a desirable thing in my life right now. I don't want to do it. You got to help me. Big Boy's Neighborhood, Big boy. it is going down, man. Relationships, do they work? Is it better to be single? She makes me do chores. Doesn't let me watch TV in bed. Turn it off, OK? And she snores like a velociraptor. What? One thing I do want to say about the film is it's not your typical urban film. Don't go into this film thinking you're going to see Friday, you're going to see uh, you know, just those kind of movies. And, and it's nothing wrong with those kind of movies. I'm a fan of, of Ice Cube. I'm a fan of Menace to Society. This is not that. You won't see guns. You won't see drugs. You won't hear the N-word. This is just a film about, you know, a common, you know, topic that everyone can relate to, but the actors in the film just so happen to be black. It's just a film. We just wanted to have fun, and this is just a film. This is what I do, guys. I was in L.A. for four years, so I went to L.A. with the hopes of becoming an actor. And uh, when I went to L.A., just some of the, the audition process in L.A. is just really rigorous and it's really uh, narrow if you're an African-American male. It's your new Hot 107.9 Philly's hottest station for hip-hop and R&B. It's your boy QDZ, 3 o'clock, City on Lock. Seven minutes away, y'all mean report with Lady O. Keep it locked right here. It's your new Hot 107.9. Most roles I was coming across was be a gangster or be you know, this hip hop guy with a do-rag and, you know, I have a lot of other things to offer. So I came across the script, you know, from my good friend Jamil Saleem and I said, we need to make this movie. And we we made it happen. I just got the starting funds from uh, Big Boy, who's the executive producer of Extra Strategy, and we just made it happen. James and Kim are so perfect strangers. Mm, no. More like Laverne and Shirley. More like Mork and Mindy. James, you're so Mindy, by the way. <laughs> no. We haven't had sex. What? 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 Dude, so you living with a girl, that's your girlfriend, and you're not having sex with her. I read the script, I'm like, this is really funny. And me and Jamil, we were doing things uh, in LA where we, you know, we were doing webisodes. Uh, Extra Strategy was actually a, a web series beforehand. Me and Jamil would just shoot different things. And I got the script to Jonah Hill because I was like, man, you know, we were just sitting around, we were talking, I'm like, man, this would be a great script for like Jonah Hill or Judd Apatow or, you know, Seth Rogen, some of those guys. I found out Jonah Hill was coming to the station. So I was like, man, I gotta get him the script. I was like, Jamil, I'm gonna get Jonah Hill this script. So I pulled Jonah Hill to the side. I said, dude, I have this script. And he's like, did you write it? I was like, yeah, I wrote it. I didn't write it. You know, I was like, yeah, 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 I wrote it. I wrote it. He's like, all right, well, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna check it out. I'm gonna read it. And I, I gave him, you know, gave him the script. Was in, you know, constant uh, connection and, and uh, with his uh, with his assistant. And I was just sitting there with Jamil. It was like two weeks, and I found out Jonah Hill was overseas promoting uh, "Get Him to the Greek." I was like, man, this dude's not gonna come back for another three, four weeks. I said, man, we just need to make this happen. And I was talking to Big Boy one day. He he was in a good mood about just creating some things. I was like, well, I have a script that you know my boy wrote, and I want to shoot this film. We got the budget, budget together, the, you know, the beginning funds, and we made it happen. I think in 2007, uh, something happened. It's the technology explosion happened, like where websites and people are just doing things themselves. So, I mean, I feel like you can still go to the studios and make things happen, but it's going to be a longer process. I feel like making it happen, just picking up, not just picking up a camera, but having people that really have the know-how that just haven't had the, the break yet, uh, you can do it yourself. So that, that's where I'm at. That's what I'm doing. This is what we're doing with Extra Strategy. Really excited about it. I can get her to break up with you. Went to a strip club after work. Busted. We were in a closet having sex. We're gay. Go hard or go home. A little stunt you had me pull? Black dance isn't considered cheating. It didn't work. I'm giving up. You're really giving up. 
guys like us don't give up. We shot this movie in 14 days. We got in, got it done, and uh, shout out to Kelly uh, Maltagliati, co-producer on the film. You know, we just took it to another level. Uh, she said, man, we need to get this on, you know, in theaters. And I'm thinking, okay, yeah, maybe we can get it in theaters. But with the connection of, you know, me coming back to Philadelphia and AMC doing a lot of, you know, different independent uh, things, we, we are putting it in theaters February 10th. So it's been, um, it's been exciting. It's been really a roller coaster ride of emotions, but it's paying off. It, and, you know, a lot of people will say this, but this movie is more than a movie for me. This is like, this is my graduation piece. Like my father always says, um, what, what can you, you know, what do you have to show for your years of hard work? And I can, you know, I, I can actually now say, you know, I mean, I, I can show other things, but I can say my four years in LA, uh, the, the greatest thing that came out of that was, was extra strategy. You know, it, it was the, the beginning of uh, something big for, you know, for myself, for Michael Whitten, for Jamil Saleem, for Kelly Maltagliati. I mean, for everyone uh, that put their hard work into it. So, really excited about it. No, I don't want to break up. Ah, ah, it's gonna suck so much when you die. Excuse me, what? I can't, I can't hear you. You're having sex with my daughter. Cheers. Straight up street violence. Get on the bacon, homie. I know what I'm talking about. I've been with women for years. What's going on? It's your boy QDZ. You're watching Real Black. I'm Real Black. You get it because it's real and it's movies. You get it. You're watching. <laughs>